Boston has been defined and shaped by its history for nearly 400 years since it was founded by Puritans in the 1600s. The city is where the American independence movement began, and tourists from all over the world come to see the monuments honoring the Sons of Liberty's crucial contribution to the Revolutionary War. While Boston's rich past is the focus of many of the city's tourist attractions, the city is also well known for its elite universities, passionate sports fans, and professional sports teams. It is not surprising that the Athens of America draws such a large number of tourists each and every year when you consider its vibrant arts and culture scenes, delectable local seafood, and picturesque harbor front setting. Let's have a look at best places to visit in Boston. Number 1. Boston Public Garden Boston Public Garden, immediately next to the well-known Boston Common and just southwest of the center, is a wonderfully tranquil and attractive spot to stroll around. The expansive park is a delight to visit at any time of year because its aesthetic and colors change so radically from one season to the next. It is home to attractive walks and ponds, plants and flower beds. Now immaculately manicured and landscaped, the garden's gorgeous green grounds contain lush plants, flowers, trees and shrubs from all around the globe. Aside from taking a ride on its iconic swan boat pedalos, guests will come across numerous monuments dotted about with its statue of George Washington being the most famous of the lot. Number 2. Bunker Hill Monument The enormous and magnificent Bunker Hill Monument is located on the other bank of the river from the Old North Church, the massive obelisk, which is really positioned atop notable Breed's Hill, honors the Battle of Bunker Hill, fought on June 17, 1775, during the American Revolutionary War between British and Patriot soldiers. The gleaming granite monument, which stands 220 feet tall and dominates Charlestown, the city's oldest neighborhood, is surrounded by lush greenery. Visitors can take in breathtaking sights of both Boston's skyline and the sparkling Charles River after trudging up its 294 stairs to the top. Number 3. Faneuil Hall Faneuil Hall, a brick structure in Boston's downtown area, is well recognized for its part in the American Revolution. The second-story assembly rooms were originally built in 1742 as a marketplace using money that donor Peter Faneuil obtained through the slave trade, but they soon became a gathering place for patriots longing for independence. One of them was the attorney James Otis, who not only gave the structure the moniker Cradle of Liberty, but also created the catchphrase No Taxation Without Representation. The structure is still in use as a marketplace, a venue for political discussions, and one of Boston's most well-liked tourist sites. Number 4. Fenway Park Since 1912, Fenway Park has served as the home of the Boston Red Sox baseball team, making it one of the city's most beloved icons. The park is a must-see destination for sports aficionados as it is America's oldest major league stadium still in operation. The outcome of games played at Fenway, one of the few old-style parks still in existence in the United States, is difficult to predict due to the park's smaller-than-average field and notorious green monster wall in left field. Even while tickets for games frequently sell out quickly, park patrons frequently score same-day passes. There are other opportunities to take park tours. Number 5. Old State House The Old State House, Boston's oldest still-standing public structure, is located in the city's historic district. It was constructed back in 1713 and is now a museum. It is one of the most well-liked stops along the magnificent Freedom Trail. The stunning red brick structure, which was once the Massachusetts Assembly seat, is most renowned for the balcony from where the Declaration of Independence was first read to the populace in 1776. Visitors can learn about the horrific events of the Boston Massacre, which took place in front of the historic edifice, in addition to touring its inside and admiring its beautiful architecture and displays. Number 6. Boston Tea Party Ships and Museum Just south of downtown lies the excellent Boston Tea Party Ships and Museum, a must-see for anybody interested in American history. While its two replica 18th-century warships bob about Griffin's Wharf, its brilliant red buildings, informative exhibits, 
and interesting activities are situated on Congress Street Bridge. The museum explores the tale of the 1773 protest, known as the Boston Tea Party, and the occasions that precipitated the Revolutionary War through immersive experiences, reenactments, and superb use of multimedia. You can explore the Eleanor and Beaver to get a sense of life on board the historic ships, in addition to viewing brief videos, touring the displays, and pouring tea into the harbor on your own. Number 7. U.S. Constitution The U.S. Constitution, the world's oldest operational naval ship, is berthed at Pier 1 on the Harbor Walk and still sails on July 4 to celebrate American freedom. President George Washington gave the three-masted Constitution its name in recognition of the United States Constitution, and it first sailed in 1797. The wooden forget sturdy hull, earned it the moniker Old Ironsides during the War of 1812, when it became well known for annihilating five British vessels. All year long, the ship is accessible to the general public, and U.S. Navy personnel offer free tours. Number 8. Beacon Hill Beacon Hill, widely regarded as Boston's most picturesque neighborhood, is full of charming, cobblestone walkways flanked with opulent buildings. The city's central location, gorgeous architecture, and welcoming atmosphere make it a pleasure to stroll through. One of its most notable sites is the gold-domed Massachusetts State House. It was established in 1795 and is now one of the most prestigious and costly neighborhoods in the city to reside in. With elegant row houses and freestanding mansions lining its evocative gaslit streets, visitors can explore the different historic sites and monuments sprinkled along the Black Heritage Trail in addition to taking countless photos of its attractive residences, streets, and gardens. Number 9. Boston Public Library The Boston Public Library is the second-largest public library in the United States, just behind the Library of Congress, with around 19 million volumes and electronic resources. Few libraries can compare to the Boston Public Library, impressive size of about 1 million square feet. The original Charles McKim Design Building, which was finished in 1895, now houses the Research Library, while in addition, which was inaugurated in 1972, houses the General Library. Culture vultures from near and far are delighted with talks, concerts, and tours. One of the most lovely peaceful reading spots in the city is the library's enclosed courtyard, which is located in the center of the building. Number 10. Museum of Fine Arts The Museum of Fine Arts, one of Boston's most popular tourist destinations, has an amazing collection of objects and artwork from all over the world. It was established in 1870 and is currently housed in a magnificent neoclassical structure in the Fenway Kenmore area, with a view of the Back Bay Fens Park's breathtaking environment. One of the most popular museums in the world is known for its spectacular Art of the Americas section, which features works from pre-Columbian, colonial, and modern periods. Additionally, its enormous galleries are home to magnificent works of art from Asia and Persia, Egyptian mummies, European masterpieces, and much, much more.